Sirens blare across the Jordanian capital, warning residents to stay in their homes. Tough new measures have been put in place to stop the spread of the coronavirus, bringing Amman to a standstill. Thousands of army troops have been deployed to enforce a nationwide curfew after this warning from the government. Anyone who violates the provisions of this order and the measures issued by the Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense shall be liable to immediate imprisonment for a period not exceeding one year. That announcement led to scenes like this in one of the city's supermarkets. They, along with bakeries and every other business, have been ordered to close. People are waiting to find out how they'll be able to go and buy groceries when they can't even leave their homes. Jordan has sealed itself off, suspending all flights in and out, closing all sea and land crossings. The entire population of 10 million is on lockdown, and thousands of tourists have already left. That's made one job easier. The municipality is taking advantage of the curfew as streets are empty to start the disinfection of all public sites, shops, roads, inner streets and alleys. The new measures are meant to keep the number of cases low, to make the economic fallout less severe, and create conditions for daily life and tourism to return. Half a million tourists have already cancelled their trips to the kingdom. Instead of catering to them, dozens of hotels have been turned into quarantine facilities for citizens who've recently returned from the United States and other places with far more cases. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.